Welcome, children, to another video from Children's Liturgy. Today, we celebrate the third Sunday of Lent. Let's start by listening to the Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One day, Jesus told the people this parable. A man went to check how much fruit was growing on a tree in his orchard, but he found that there was none. So he sent for his gardener, and told him, This tree has grown no fruit for the last three years. Cut it down and plant another tree in its place. But the gardener said to him, Master, give the tree one more year, so I can feed and care for it. Then, if it still has no fruit on it, cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord How many of you have plants or trees in your house or yard? Have you seen your parents or grandparents tend to these plants or trees? When I was growing up, my grandmother had starfruit, rambutan and guava trees in her yard. She would water the trees, prune the leaves and put fertilizer so that the trees would bear many fruits for the family to enjoy. What happens if the trees stop growing or stop producing fruit? or if the fruits were bad or sour. My grandfather would try to save the tree by putting more fertilizer and watering it even more. My grandfather would try his best to give the tree another chance. That is the same story told in the Gospel today. The gardener told the owner of the orchard to give the tree one more year, so that the gardener can feed and care for it. The gardener wanted to give the tree another chance. What is Jesus telling us in today's gospel? The tree is you and me. The gardener is Jesus. The owner of the tree in the orchard is God. God has planted us here on this earth and he expects us to produce good fruit in our lives. What kind of fruit does he expect? When he looks at the way we live our lives, he wants us to do the right thing, to love others, be patient and kind to others. We are human and there are times when we do not live this way and God is disappointed in what he sees. But our God is a forgiving God. He is a God who gives us second chances. There are multiple stories in the Bible about how God gives us second chances. God gave Moses a second chance to return to Egypt to set his people free. Jesus gave Zacchaeus, the tax collector who was cheating people's money, a second chance by choosing to stay with him. To save his own life, Peter denied Jesus three times. Yet Jesus had plans to use Peter in a mighty way to build his church and gave Peter a second chance to show his love for Jesus. And do you know what is the biggest second chance of all? God sending his own son, Jesus, to live with us, to teach us, and eventually be sacrificed for our sins, so that we will have eternal life with God. Every year, we remember how God gave us this biggest second chance through the season of Lent. Lent is the 40 days from Ash Wednesday to the Saturday before Easter. Lent is a time of preparation and an opportunity for us to deepen our relationship with God. Ash Wednesday is the first day of Lent. You may have noticed people with a smudged black cross on their foreheads. Those are ashes from the Ash Wednesday service. The ashes symbolize our grief for the things we have done wrong. Maundy Thursday is the day before Good Friday. It commemorates the night before Jesus died, when he shared the Passover meal with his closest friends and followers. Good Friday is the day we remember Jesus' death. The good reflects how Jesus' death was a sacrifice on our behalf. It shows how God gives us another chance so that we can receive God's forgiveness for our sins. 
Easter Sunday is the joyful celebration of Jesus rising from the dead to give us the opportunity of eternal life. Jesus made the way for people to have another chance to have a relationship with God in this life and to spend eternity with Him in heaven. The three main things we focus on during Lent are prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Prayer during Lent focuses on our need for God's forgiveness. It's also about turning away from our sins and receiving God's mercy and love. Fasting or giving something up is a very common practice during Lent. The idea is that giving up something that we like for example, eating dessert or playing video or phone games can be a reminder of Jesus' sacrifice. Almsgiving or giving money or doing something good for others is a way to respond to God's grace, generosity and love. For example, some people volunteer their time to do something for others or donate the money they would have used to buy something like ice cream or a toy. Our God is a God who gives us another chance. But that does not mean we should continue to sin. What can we do to produce the kind of fruit that God expects? We are now in the third Sunday of Lent. Do you choose to play more phone games? Or do you choose to spend time during Lent praying, giving up something, and helping your parents, siblings, or friends? Do you choose to spend time growing closer to God by watching all the children's liturgy videos, reading God's Word through the Bible, and praying regularly? Choose to do things that will help you to live a fruitful life.